I'm Perry Ray. This is Socially Speaking. I just want to take a minute to share with you our commentary from the other side of the tracks. Today's commentary from the other side of the tracks is entitled Denying Your Eyesight is Bad for Your Heart from the other side of the tracks. Nothing in America surprises me, yet events, people, and conditions more often than not disappoint me. It disappoints me that so many Americans, in particular white Americans, claim they believe in God, or the principles articulated by Jesus, or that they're just good people. Good people. Every week it seems that I hear of another incident of straight up racism. Not appearances, just white people doing to black people things they would never do to another white person. Call this woman on the phone with police about an eight year old girl she says was loudly selling water outside her apartment in Philadelphia. Two black men led away in handcuffs by police after asking to use the bathroom. White man harassed a black family at the pool of a Westin hotel in Pasadena, California, going on a rant about diseases and asking whether a five year old girl was clean enough to swim in the pool. Perpetrator forever. Call the police on him for having a barbecue. Stephanie, no mercy. I'm being followed and harassed. That's what's up with two white kids being with one black male. Now, those incidents, they feel like, seem like, are coming fast and often, and it doesn't surprise me that white people, when asked, say things like, I don't see any racism. Now, I find myself wondering if they might share those responses for face value, uh, or is it really where their heart is? Because if their heart is really there in that place, the knees are some dead spirited people. A white woman who called the police after claiming that a young black boy touched her on her behind in a Brooklyn deli drew a storm of ridicule and criticism on social media. And this was last week. And she made a public apology directly to the child. Well, not directly, but made an apology to the child. And uh, critics characterized the incident as the latest example of hypersensitive white people calling the police to report black people for dubious reasons. Many detractors imputed racist motives to the woman, Teresa Klein, this Brooklyn incident. Teresa Klein accused a nine-year-old boy of sexual assault. It's unclear if she was faking the call. And I am going home. Um, Goodbye, nine yeah, one one operator. Police say they have no record of it. Up the bat to world star. Go away. And the store's surveillance video tells a different story, clearly showing the boy's backpack accidentally brushed against Klein. She was quickly labeled Corner Store Caroline by a guy named Jason Littlejohn. He was a 37-year-old Flatbush resident who happened to be in the store who recorded the commotion um, on a Wednesday, last week, Wednesday, by Friday, when after he faced... Uh, after he Facebooked it, it had over 4 million views. She said, I was just sexually assaulted by a child. Now, Miss Klein, she's heard saying on the video that Little John recorded, and she said she was on the phone with the police. The boy, who is about nine, and another child burst into tears outside the store where bystanders confronted Miss Klein about the incident, this white woman. Now, you know and I know that child is traumatized by this incident. Someone calling the police on them for not only something they didn't do, but even if they did, even if something as petty as this, a nine-year-old. And now, the public shaming of people who behave boorishly or spout racist views has become a, f <laughs> a feature, they say, of modern life in New York City, where nearly every person has a cell phone and residents are not shy about confronting one another in <laughs> colorful language. We all know that because we live in America. This is 
problematic because it happens more often than not. The white women, the damsels of society, when they're in distress, whatever distress looks like, the police seem to respond like that. You might remember the incident. 